Hey Leo, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. So let's tap into your energy, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you guys, okay? Could be dealing with an Aquarius here, Leo. All right, so let's see. Did I say I hope you guys are doing good? I really do hope you're doing well. Today's a beautiful day. I hope you're enjoying it, okay? Hopefully you're getting some sun, some air. You know, if you're working in the office, hopefully you take a break. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Take a break, go outside, get you some air or something. But let's see. Thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your super thanks, Leo. I am sending all that love back to you guys tenfold, okay? So let's tap in and let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm. Leo and their loved ones, me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Leos. And protect me as I channel the messages here for Leo. Okay. Let's see what's going on here for Leo. So we have wake up here. Someone's about to receive a rude of awakening. Okay. Mm. Who are you? What else? Emancipated, liberation from all restrictions. So, Leo, I feel like somebody's mask is getting ready to fall off here. Okay, somebody's getting ready to show you the real them, or spirit is getting ready to show you. Karmic contract, same sex love, happy relationship. You guys could be in the same sex. You could be into the same sex, or you could be with the same sex here. Your relationship is good. Okay, period. Or this could be um same sex love with karmic contract. Somebody here could be getting out it for being down low. Um, or whatever. Or somebody has made some sort of deal to indulge in same sex activities that they probably I mean they probably like. If they if if somebody's down low is what I'm talking about, if they like the same sex. They could be trying to hide this. I feel like somebody made some sort of deal to do something involving the same sex, but they only did it for money type shit. But maybe they, they really like it. They've gotten into it maybe over time. I don't know, man. Like they started enjoying it over time, but that's not... Somebody who maybe did something for money. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups reverse, Knight of Swords reverse, Queen of Swords upright. So, hmm, damn, Queen of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Cups reverse, and the Queen of Wands in the reverse, the Devil reverse, the Queen of Swords upright. So I'm pretty sure that's you, Leo. You can have air in your chart somewhere. So somebody's attacking you or trying to bully you because you're speaking the truth here. Or somebody here is listening to this spiteful, vengeful, nasty person to come and attack you and you're setting boundaries. So maybe there's a woman here that wants a man to attack you. Somebody's a follower. Knight of Souls in reverse. Somebody's a follower that listens to somebody. Uh, okay. Let's just see though. What is this? What's wake up here? <laughs> okay. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, somebody's getting ready to receive a wake up call from dealing with this Queen of Pentacles reverse or this bitch getting ready to receive one. Mm. 
Damn, Three of Swords, the King of Cups reverse, and the Ten of Swords. Mm. This Queen of Pentacles could not be feeling well. They could be sick, and this person could be too. What the fuck? Oh, so this Queen of Pentacles in reverse could be doing magic on this King of Cups now in the reverse. This person could not be feeling well. This Queen of Cups and Queen of Pentacles in reverse put a hex or a curse on this King of Cups in reverse. I feel like this King of Cups in reverse maybe could be gossiping about you to this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, because they're heartbroken or they're upset or whatever. What's this um wake up here with the Queen of Pentacles reverse rather? I'm getting deja vu. Okay, yeah, the tower. Uh, so something shocking is coming out or being revealed or somebody's going through some sort of chaos, drama. Something is blowing up or falling apart here. There's some sort of magic that maybe somebody done is blowing up in their face, possibly. This could be too somebody going through a bad divorce where they're losing money. This gold digger or something is coming out about somebody being a gold digger or a hoe. A user. A scam artist. What's this way to put it reverse? The Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so some disappointing or bad news. Excuse me, a lack of interest. Block creativity. A block desire or passion for something here. Somebody is drained or they're tired. Very weak. Well, you know, in Pisces reading the other day, I got somebody's dang lane getting ready to stop working. Somebody can't get that thing up no more. Okay, I wonder why. What's this Queen of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Wands reverse? Hmm. Oh, okay, the High Priestess in reverse. Mm. What is this? There's some dark shit going on. The high priestess in reverse is somebody that doesn't um that doesn't know how to control their sexual urges. This this is somebody this is a dark witch here. This queen of pentacles reverse, high priestess reverse. Definitely Pisces energy. So maybe go watch Pisces reading. Somebody's dangling is fucked up. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not like you know, I have been laughing a lot lately, Leo. Shit has been really funny to me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Because of all the dumb shit that somebody has done, this weak ass fucking magic and all this this hexing, this cursing, and trying to block somebody else's shit. Now they shit blocked, they dangling and they vagina falling off or a stank or it's fucked up. I feel like that shit is quite comical. <laughs> Eight eleven on the timer, I really do. Cause what the fuck did you did you bitches think was gonna happen when you did what you did to the other person? Somebody that ain't even thinking about you, probably don't even know you. I just, this is what I'm saying. So somebody here could be having outbursts or whatever because maybe somebody's disinterested in them or like their their dick ain't getting up. So yeah, somebody here could be sick. Something wrong with their dangling. Yeah, this king of wands. Or yeah, because they've been fucking around too much or whatever the fuck this is, man. This shit is crazy. What's the, what's the high priestess in reverse? The three of wands. Uh, somebody could be losing their gifts. What's the high priestess reverse three of wands? Uh, which way is that? I mean, if I pick it up like this, it'll be in upright. So I'm gonna just leave it upright. I go with whichever way my hand flip it, switch it, it's flipped that way. <laughs> it is what the fuck it is. But so the queen of wands upright. So yeah, there's some growth. An expansion here with the three of wands and the queen of wands you can have aries in your chart strong leo so i feel like you're you're passionate you're going after the things that you want and desire the high priestess in reverse is somebody too doubting their intuition or self-doubt but i feel like this is a dark witch here trying to do something or they're mad because somebody else is disinterested in them and you sexy as fuck and you're you're growing you're expanding you're moving forward or Whatever, or somebody's trying to wait for something to happen. But I feel like three of wands is like having a sense of foresight. It's being confident, knowing where you want to go. 
Yeah, what's so what's the ace of wands reverse then? Okay, I, I don't like how that flipped over. What's the ace of wands reverse? The seven of wands in the reverse. Yeah, so I, I feel like, you know, Leo Mars here, I feel like something is unblocked for you and something else is blocked for somebody else. This is them being in for a root of awakening. You're confident here. This is a lot of wands, ace of wands, seven of wands, three of wands, queen of wands. So this has something to do with your creativity, your vitality, your sexual energy. Okay, so I feel like you are feeling confident and you feel good about moving forward. You could be feeling energized. You could feel like, like really you're getting a lot of things done. You're working on a lot of creative projects and pursuits. Okay, some of you guys could be traveling or you're just getting things done. You're you're busy. Okay, I feel like you're quite funny as well with the Queen of Wands. You're sexy as fuck. You look good. And I feel like you have a high self-esteem and definitely more confidence for sure. So I don't know what somebody's problem is. They shit blocked because they shouldn't be playing in your energy. Yeah, whoever the fuck this is. Knight of Pentacles reverse, Justice reverse, Seven of Cups reverse. Okay, so somebody just tried to do something dumb. And so now they shit blocked. Some shit blowing up. So what's the tower? Okay, Queen of Swords flipped out in reverse. Okay, the bitch flipped in reverse. So this ain't you. Or this could be you. I don't know. Could be a faulty Leo with air placements or uh, air sign with Leo placements. I don't know. But, um... So something is shocking here about a lie. Something is blown up in somebody's face here about a lie. Definitely these two idiots came out in the Divine Feminine reading, uh, Leo. Yeah, so somebody here tried to curse somebody or they're gossiping or whatever this is to cause chaos or there's an argument. What's this? This is somebody here too that's bitter and unforgiving. What's the tower with the Queen of Swords in reverse? Okay, the Six of Wands in reverse. So a smear campaign. And somebody, a group of people here with bad intentions. Damn. Yeah, but so so I feel like you're emancipated here. You're free from something. So who is this Queen of Swords after? I mean, I feel like they're still after you, but it's like you're not going nowhere. Something is unblocked for you. So somebody's after. I feel like somebody, these people are after somebody else. To, to be honest, Eight of Swords, Four of Swords, somebody here could be. Laying on that hard ass bed that be in the prison cell, somebody's in jail or feel like they in damn jail. Something here is protected too as you move forward. What the fuck? Let's see. What's the six of the 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 ten of cups? So you could be starting a family here. You could be this could be bliss and happiness. You could be in a faded connection, Leo. Mm, something here is protected. Yeah, look, the King of Wands. So let's see, what's the Six of Wands reverse? So this is somebody here that's a clout chaser or they need attention, they need a lot of validation. I don't know if somebody's trying to get initiated into something or what they're doing. What's this Six of Wands reverse? I feel like these two women are working together. You know what I'm hearing in my head? It's like, oh, well, you can't do it. You suck at trying to get this person to blah, 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 blah. So these bitches are trying to be after you to get something. I feel like they might as well give it the fuck up too. It's like so they're trying to get somebody to do something to you. And it's not working. So it's like, oh, let me try. Head ass. <laughs> okay, what's Six of Wands reverse? This some sort of like group. The Emperor? What's Six of Wands reverse with the Emperor? The Sun. Oh, okay. This is a good Emperor, period. I'm not getting bad energy off this Emperor automatically. We got Leo, Aries, strong. So... So something here could be exposed about the fact that you're with this emperor or this emperor is really healing to you. Something about your life force, energy, vitality. Some of you guys, you could be pregnant with this person's child. Some of you guys are raising an emperor. Like this is somebody's son in the future. Somebody's going to be a future divine masculine. So if you're pregnant, you can have a star seed child, a light worker child, an earth angel, or somebody very special that's going to help raise the vibration of the planet later on in life. Is what I've just heard. But this could be um a very high vibrational masculine. There's a lot of happiness, joy. This is success. This is freedom. Yeah. So you're free here. You found your emperor or you're going to. So there's a smear campaign. There's a group of people with ill intentions or there's somebody here that wants attention or they're upset. 
Yeah, it's this King of Cups right here that's upset. That they're not gonna they that they stuck over here with these two hoes. The Queen of Cups reverse, King of Cups reverse. I feel like there's some sort of deal that's been made with these dark people and this person, their their emotions and their addictions and shit like that, they just can't seem to get it together. To even carry out something. They're too emotionally immature. They're childish. They're not able to do anything. This person here could be shocked. Maybe this, this Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles is somebody that they're working with. They're with this Queen of Cups in reverse. They're both burdened and stressed out and sick and fucked up. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse is a dark witch. Maybe this is in somebody's family. This Queen of Swords in reverse don't like these so if they're if they're working together with these people to do something to you here i feel like they they're all they asking for a root of awakening because this queen of swords in reverse do not like them anyway they lied to them queen of swords in reverse is a liar so somebody here lied and did a whole bunch of dumb shit and these people what they listened or whatever this is i just feel like there's a whole lot of bitter shit going on yeah somebody's delivering information or the page of swords the ten of swords and the death card the Ten of Swords and the Death card. I haven't got that combination in a little minute. Not like, not like side by side. So somebody is planning to kill somebody? I told you, I was kind of like getting that in a Divine Feminist reading. Like somebody is planning to hurt somebody. And I feel like it ain't you. <laughs> you can't be hurt, it's clear. People getting fucked up from hurting you. Everybody. So, I, you know, it's their best bet is to leave you the fuck alone. That's for sure. I feel like you're fine. I truly feel like that. There, there's a sense of peace that you should be having, Leo, or whoever you are that's watching on a good side of karma. Somebody here, the Ten of Swords and the Death card. I don't like that. Or maybe somebody is playing with the dead. Maybe somebody here could be a necromancer. They're talking to the dead here. Ooh, look, yeah, look, a ghost. And the Eight of Wands in reverse. Mm. Yeah, Temperance in reverse. Oh, okay, all right, all right, let's see. What's the Queen of Swords reverse? Six of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, bribery. Gifts with strings attached or somebody feels like they're underpaid. <laughs> somebody's like, yeah, I'm not getting paid enough to do all this. Or somebody's not able to pay somebody. They ain't got no fucking money. Somebody here could be losing a job. This could be someone that's a scam artist. Or this could be like gifts with strings attached. Somebody abusing their power and position of authority. What's Queen of Souls reverse? Six of Pentacles reverse. Okay, Ace of Pentacles reverse. Mm. So yeah, opportunity is lost. Somebody didn't get paid for something. That's what this is to me. Somebody got bribed to do something. Uh, yeah, and it's like, there's people here. Maybe it's that King and Queen of Cups together. The couple, they got bribed to do something. They got paid to do something and they can't follow through with it. They're not going to follow through with it. Not not against you. Or it could be flipped. They But these people, they ain't got no damn money. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? So, I mean, let's just be... I'm, I'm really being, like, common sense with these readings. Really rational. Like, like, for example, how do you expect somebody to be a divine masculine and they betrayed you in this way? Where's the divine in that? Like, let's let's think. You know what I mean? Like, let's be for real. That shit don't even make no damn sense. And I'm not finna sit up here and sugarcoat that shit. So, I, you know, just for, that's just an example. It's just like, well, what the fuck? How do you expect two people that are in the reverse, King of Cups reverse, Queen of Cups reverse, Three of Swords, Ten of Wands, whatever we've seen around them two idiots. How the fuck do we expect them to have any fucking emotional intelligence, any kind of discipline? They can't even handle their emotions to be out here getting money. Like, how do we expect that to work? Like, I don't know. So maybe they got bribed to do some shit. Probably them too. Okay. So anyways. 
So Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, somebody missed an opportunity, honey. There's no money there. And so something is blowing up or somebody's mad or whatever the fuck. So who, it says, who are you here? Somebody here could, could have gotten paid to curse you. Maybe this Queen of Swords is the cursor <laughs> or whoever, whatever you call them people that curse. I mean, the spell work. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is also somebody that's root work. They could do root work here. A dark high priest, a dark voodoo high priest or whatever. High priestess. To block you, they ain't getting shit. It's a missed opportunity. So that's what's being reported. So yeah, somebody is sad. Five of Cups. Okay, that's what this is. Okay, so Scorpio Mars here. Someone is sad. What's who are you with the Five of Cups? So there's going to be a loss. And it is because you bitches going to go broke for trying to block this damn person. Yeah, the Two of Swords. Libra Moon. Yeah, so somebody's at a stalemate. They're stuck or somebody's like in denial. But... I feel like this is somebody is like in regret about some shit and, and maybe it's like they're stuck in between a rock and a hard place or they're stuck in the middle of some shit. They look dumb or somebody feels dumb. What the fuck is the five of cups? I can't stand seeing some sad shit after you do shit like this, after you try to set somebody up. Now these two idiots, they don't want to fight no more because they burden and they weighed the fuck down. They don't want to fight no more from getting being bribed or something like that by these two hateful ass whores. So now down they don't want to fight. I feel like there's a a breakup between these, these two people. Maybe they're still together. I don't know. But they don't want to fight you no more, five of wands in reverse. Oh, I don't want to be in competition no more. I should have never. Yeah, you shouldn't have never. But you did, though. What's done is done. So what now? Karma. <laughs> it sounds like karma is getting ready to... It's time for payback. It's payback time. Now everybody wants to be nice. I feel like that's some bullshit. I feel like that's fucked up. I feel like that is... It really is. You get somebody set up to get hurt. Your plan was to really kill somebody. The Ten of Swords and the Death card. What the fuck is that? To do magic on somebody. To trick them. To make them go out of their mind. To probably what? Kill them damn selves. And then it's like, oh, now I don't want to fight. Now I want to back out. Because you're getting that ass whooped. Karma is... I feel like that shit is unacceptable. And personally, I don't give a fuck. Whatever's going on is what the fuck need to be going on. Is what I feel. Ain't no Mrs. Mrs. Nice Guy. I mean, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Nice Girl or Mrs. Nice Boy is over. We done been nice for too damn long. The shit is deserved. So the Five of Cups and the Cherry Reverse. So somebody here could be experiencing a loss with a car. Somebody here could be sad about losing their car. Okay. Cancer energy with the Cherry in the Reverse. So something is out of control for sure. This could be, yeah, hateful energy. Hate winning over love here. Now somebody's sad. There's blockages and this could be somebody is sad because they got coerced into doing some dumb shit. What's the five of cups with the cherry reverse? Mm, mm, mm. Two of wands. This could be somebody, two of wands could be somebody feeling wanderless or lost. Uh, okay. You guys could be saying two, two, two. Aries, Mars. What's the, so somebody is sad because they got they didn't get a victory. That's what the fuck they sad about. What's the two of wands? <laughs> the eight of pentacles. So this could be you planning for your future with the two of wands, or you're anticipating something or waiting for something. Or somebody's anticipating and waiting for you to be unfocused, or for you to not focus on what you're focused on, or stop working, or stop being in this commitment with this with this king of wands. Yeah, because you getting into whatever this union is or connecting with whoever this is or whatever is keeping a group broke. That's what the fuck really going on here. What, what the hell is this? Um, Or something here failed at somebody trying to reconnect you to someone else to gain in a certain way. Yeah, this dark high priest and a dark high priestess. This group is broke. <laughs> is what it's giving me. What's the damn two of wands with the eight of pentacles? Yeah, the queen of cups in reverse. Hmm. Something going bad. Yeah, whatever this death threat is, is what I just heard. Or whatever this curse is, it's going right the fuck back. It's going back fast too. 
So the queen that comes in reverse, yeah, somebody's spiteful, very vindictive, very nasty, very much so a loser. Very much so a loser. Eight of Pentacles is like somebody here mastering something. This could be like a new job or whatever, but this could also have something to do with your reputation. But the Eight of Pentacles is being focused on something or working on something here, doing the putting the hard work in for something or whatever, man. What's Queen of Cups reverse? <laughs> the two people coming out together. I cannot. What's these two idiots doing? Three of Swords. Yeah, they're going through a breakup where they both they both of them are heartbroken. I just this like I, you know Leo. I don't even be knowing what to say sometimes because I don't really have nothing nice to say. I am not. I am not. I, I can admit that I am just not. The shit that has been going on, and to expect me to be nice, bitch, for what? <laughs> I'm really trying to figure it out, and maybe that's the Leo rising in me. Maybe. Am I Leo Mars? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Because I just, I don't got time. This is stupid. And it's like, for me, I guess it's just best for me to not know shit that's going on with you. Because, honey, when I say I don't give a fuck, I so mean it. <laughs> like, I'm not even trying to be a bitch. 11, 11 on the clock. Like, I'm dead serious. This shit is stupid. And I can't stand seeing people really try to fuck somebody over. Like, you really try to set somebody up, kill them, have them sacrifice, destroy because you want some money. When you can't get your bitch ass, you can't get your bitch ass up and go to work like everybody else. You want the easy way out. And now you're getting bad karma and you're crying and you don't want to fight no more. It's like, well, good, bitch, because you wasn't going to win the fight anyway. But I'm just saying, though, this shit is just really appalling to me. It's like, what are we supposed to be doing here? Are we supposed to be feeling sad or upset or what? Because I don't know. Are y'all sad? I feel like this some bullshit. <laughs> I feel like this some straight up bullshit. Is what I'm saying in this spread, really. What, is, what else is this right here besides the fact that they sitting up here crying and shit? What the fuck is this? King of Cups reverse quick. Are they, like, are they hurt? Is somebody having heart problems? <sighs> Definitely their creativity is blocked. The fuck? What's the King of Cups... The Queen of Cups reverse with the Three of Swords. What's the problem? The strength card? Because you overcame challenges and obstacles. So, I mean, I feel like that's that means some bad shit. Getting ready to happen to their ass. Something getting ready to happen to them. This you, Leo, with the strength card. Or they try to kill... They... What's these? What's this? Give me more. Exactly. <laughs> to the Swords in reverse. Child, that's what I'm saying. I don't got the time. This is some evil shit. I don't respect the evil. I don't give a fuck. These hoes, are, they're karmic as fuck. Oh, this shit is stupid. Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. So you overcame the slander, the gossip, the curse. You're too strong. So now they're heartbroken. Or this getting ready backfire. And they know it. That's why they sit up here sad. Or they already are losing shit. Or losing one another. Or losing somebody close to them. Or they getting ready to get lost <laughs> in the sauce. Whatever it may be. Y'all bitches have done too much. And then want somebody to feel sorry for you. I don't know. It's not. That's not where I'm at. What's two of swords? And I forgive. We forgive. I'm not. Because I have a collective to lead. I can't be like, oh, well, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because that's not even how my heart is set up. But bitch, I'm when I y'all know I don't play that. You're not going to come over here and try to kill somebody. And then be... Is somebody here watching? Somebody getting somebody to watch you so that way they can take you out or hurt you or whatever and they, and they got paid for it? It's like, what are you supposed to... What is, that's the ultimate betrayal. What the fuck are you supposed to do with that information besides be upset? That's upsetting. That's a real emotion. <laughs> like that, That's very upsetting. To, to be stalked and watched and preyed upon. And then when they shit fall apart, it's like, oh, I'm sad or I'm crying or let's be nice. Bitch, fuck you. That's what the fuck is given to me. I don't know how y'all feel, how y'all take it. Maybe some of y'all nicer than I am. But me, honey, I'm not teaching my collective to be like, yeah, well, you know, they just tried to kill me. We can get over it. What's the two of swords? Exactly, the two of cups. Yeah, so I feel like this is about a relationship. This is about a fucking relationship. And it's upright. So you're in a good relationship or you're with somebody or whatever. Probably just divine masculine up here with the emperor and the sun. What's the two of swords with the two of cups? 
and the page because and some of y'all this could be a marriage proposal or you're pregnant so now somebody want to call a truce or now somebody want to apologize this could be an apology or this is you opening yourself up to love and you're you are going to find your soulmate or whatever the fuck this is child yeah the empress yeah look yeah something is moving out of a stalemate the empress the four of cups in reverse and the ten of cups definitely starting a family with your masculine this is a baby here this page of cups here yeah or a marriage uh you getting married or you're celebrating something or this could be a date maybe a cute love offer or a cute gesture or whatever the fuck this is and somebody's in the two of swords or now somebody's at a stalemate something is at a stalemate or on hold bitch is gonna stay on hold so you might as well drop the plan and move the fuck on or whoever's in denial might as well get the fuck over it with they raggedy fucking ass that kind of shit is, is crazy to me. How people go out their way just to ruin their own fucking life. Because, bitch, you're not ruining nobody else's life but yours. Your life is ruined. <laughs> you didn't already ruined it when you decided to come up with this raggedy-ass plan. Are you stupid? So, anyways. Not, now it's like, I feel like that two of swords is somebody want to call a truce. <laughs> like I, I, so I swear I'm getting that. What's emancipated? It's like, bitch, how dare you? The Hermit. So you're emancipated. I feel like from a monitoring spirit, from somebody stalking you, watching you, trying to research and analyze what the fuck you doing with your damn life. What's emancipated with the Hermit here? Or this could be you doing some shadow work here. You could be. This could be spiritual enlightenment or introspection that you're doing. Maybe you're sitting in solitude so that way you can purge this nasty energy so you can move on with your life. Yeah, go through this transformation or whatever this is yeah archangel michael or the courts are coming for this bitch they coming so you might as well get prepared ain't no feeling sad now what's emancipated with the hermit you better go somewhere and repent go talk to god bitch because <laughs> i'm pretty sure god would want to hear more than we do because i don't know ain't nobody got time what's emancipated with the hermit that's fucked up the ten of wands yeah so somebody could need to see a doctor because they're sick is what I just seen, or they they need to possibly, preferably a mental health doctor, a specialist, a, a psychiatrist, or they need some damn Jesus in their life. They need some God or some something. So I feel like with the ten of wands, yeah. So so something here is way down, or somebody's way down. They're tired. This could be a lot of responsibility or obligations or whatever the fuck this is. Or there's like a ghost or something riding somebody back. It really is. This this was I feel like this is you're emancipated from a spirit that's been monitoring you and your sacral with that ten of wands to see if you're still holding on to sadness or betrayals or hurt or pain or whatever this is so that way they can have an access point to do whatever the spell work is on you to block you. What's this hermit? Okay, Knight of Wands. Yeah, so somebody here, somebody's gift could be astral traveling, is what I'm what I'm hearing. Somebody does some sort of magic. What's the hermit with the Knight of Wands? Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups in reverse, yeah, and the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, somebody here lazy. They don't have no fucking common sense. They don't want to work for shit that they got. Somebody here is superficial, greedy. They'll do anything for fucking money. This person here has a lot of repressed trauma and emotions, or this is something that you had. They've been monitoring you to see if you, you're you still repressed with somebody here. So somebody's been monitoring your love life. They've been trying to figure out if you're still with somebody or people that are, they never finish what they start. You can't depend on them. You can't rely on them to do anything. And they're still holding on to a lot of trauma or pain. So if you continue to indulge in those kind of relationships, you'll be blocked. And the magic will continue to work on you. So like I, like I be saying on my community tab, if you don't choose to heal, this is the shit that be happening. This is this, this the kind of shit that be going on. Like literally... It's a war. It's either you're going to do the work or you're going to sit here and keep being taken advantage of and they're going to take you out and they're going to live in your energy while you somewhere dead somewhere. Like dead ass. Because that's exactly what the fuck this is. Yeah, somebody here that come in and out of your energy, they monitor you a lot with this Knight of Wands. 
and it's very passionate or they're very sexual here. What's the what the fuck is this Knight of Wands? The Ten of Cups. So this could be this could be you too. I was getting ready to say too, breaking free of something, being confident, you're traveling, or this this bitch actual traveling to see what the fuck going on with you. I feel like they see a whole damn Ten of Cups here. Definitely Ten of Cups, by the Page of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Definitely a family, a child, a baby, a marriage. That's what the fuck this is to me. That's what this is. What's the Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups? Or this is like too. This Ten of Cups is wholeness, it's completion. You're you're happy. You're complete. So they come in to travel and see whatever the fuck they see. And I feel like, bitch, somebody don't like what they see. What's the night of wands with the ten of cups? I feel like that's why you need to mind your business. Yeah, the six of cups in the reverse. So this is somebody from your past that won't let you go. Yeah, somebody from your past that won't let you go. They're saying that you released the past. You released the past. You let it go. You, you, you moved on and now you're free. You're at the ten of cups. So this person has took their ass, they came to travel towards you or this ghost did or whatever they sent out to come towards you to hurt you or to monitor you or whatever the fuck this is. They took their ass, they traveled and they're blocked because they cannot get past this Ten of Cups energy, whether it be you with somebody or you alone and you just feel whole and happy, complete. They cannot get access to something here that's, they don't have an access point is what I'm getting. They can't access anything what's the ten of wands the four of wands in reverse yeah karmic contract is broken it's over with you feel like you don't fit in somewhere because you don't it's time for something to be over you freed yourself from it what's the ten of wands with the four of wands reverse somebody here thought that she was going um keep going around and around and learning the same lessons in your love life and you're not they expected you to keep getting fucked up in love or keep getting your heart broken or keep being sad as fuck and you didn't you decided to still love and still be a boss bitch and now you don't found the love of your life or you're going to what's the ten of wands with the four of wands reverse somebody here really had it bad for you like out for you really bad the higher from reverse four of wands reverse so a whole community or this is a false flame here a, a falling flame that go watch divine feminist reading man yeah the empress with the emperor and the sun exactly so this is a fallen high priest with a dark high priestess this is a group so somebody here is losing support this there's a lot of conflict and chaos going on in a group or they're breaking up or whatever what's the four of wands in reverse the higher from reverse oh this contract is over with this yeah four of wands reverse with the higher from reverse this this contract is over with this dark high priest yeah and they got a high priestess in the reverse to help them so they went into a contract with a dark witch to sacrifice their um high ranking twin because this like i told like i told uh, the divine feminine this is like a, somebody that you was with in a past life. And they decided to be a fallen twin. They decided to work against you with the devil. So this contract is over. What's four ones reverse, high from reverse? That's a contract. That's some sort of spiritual spouse, demonic entity, a contract you was in with this damn warlock or whoever the fuck they are. Yeah, look, page of pentacles in reverse and the moon reverse. Dark magic. This person is dark. A lot of divination spying. The moon reverse is something being revealed or this is you moving away from fear, anxiety, and stress. Yeah, this person is attacking you. Then they sit back and watch you. And they do this shit all the time. Page of Wands reverse is very predictable. And you over here going through a transformation and getting exactly what the fuck you deserve. Your manifestations are coming in. You got good fortune, good karma. And like they, they're monitoring you. They're watching you to see where you're at. And they keep on attacking you. This person is ran by something. Like, they just keep on attacking you over and over again. Literally, it's crazy. It really is. So, this contract is over with this person. So, you've broken free of a, um, a demonic entity. Yeah, so karma is striking. <laughs> it's time. It's time for somebody, especially since they lost this war. Yeah, they getting ready to get fucked up. They getting ready to get it, for sure. This person, I feel like they decided to willingly sacrifice themselves and go against you just because their heart was broken. Or because you left them or because you wanted to go a different way.
And this person knows that they know you from a past life. They can feel it. They feel the connection just like you can feel this dark shit connected to them. You can feel when they plan in your energy or whatever this is. Y'all had a spiritual connection. It's just dark and very fucking common. Very. Yes, yeah, so we have travel. Exactly. Somebody here traveling. Or this is you traveling. But somebody here could have asked you to travel like I said. Some of you guys are going somewhere. You could be moving. Or these bitches are trying to get the fuck away. Or you're traveling to a whole new um, part of your journey. Yeah, increase. Okay. And then we have intuition and manifestation. And back and forth. Family. Loss. So somebody here actually travels to get an increase in their manifestations or increase with their money through intuition and manifestation. They use magic. Is what I just heard. What's travel here? Family, friends, and guides. Okay, what's travel? With, so your family, friends, and guides are protecting you or your family and, and your friends could be traveling to come see you. What's travel with the family, friends, and guides? Conscious steps. Yeah, consider action, looking looking forward. Mm -hmm. You guys will be saying 626, 333, 33. So we have um, creative, a creative endeavor. Elementals, nature spirits, the four elements. Relaxation, peaceful pursuits, happy times. Mm -hmm. Up from the depths, releasing difficulty, teacher. Mm -hmm. Personal guide, guardian angel, spirit, family in the reverse. Bottom of the deck is ascended masters, devoted spirits with specific intentions. New supportive connections, the loving woman, exactly, the honoring path, happy success, and the loving man. And kindred partnerships, this is nice. Yeah, while they experience a fucking decrease, currents of emotions, uncontrolled feelings, back and forth. Yeah, somebody here keep on playing games. Hmm. Your spirit mentors is the, the family, friends, and guides card. A woman in spirit floats over a peaceful stream, her light reflecting in the water, reminding you of the ever-present power of spirit in your life. Unending inspiration and support are available through the loving entities in the spirit realm. Exactly. They're protecting you. When the card is upright, it hearkens the presence of a spirit friend or family member or possibly someone you knew on a professional level. Do not put limits on the knowledge these entities can bring. In the spirit world, they can access all of the information of the Akashic Records. Okay, that's what they were doing. Yeah, with, with conscious steps, consider action looking forward. This is you. Somebody here was trying to access your records. And this person is a fallen twin, so they are part of your Akashic Records. So it's not easy for them to know, you know what I'm saying, certain things. But they really don't know that much, clearly. They lost. <laughs> Somebody here thought they were smarter than you. And I don't know how, because they ain't got no common sense. So that's one thing that they lacked in this lifetime i don't know what the fuck they did in a past life but um so anyways from the eternal past to the infinite future all the wisdom you would ever need can be accessed either through your higher self or through these spirit loved ones all around you this card is telling you there's something going on in your life that could use the advice of spirit perhaps a beloved family doctor from the other side is helping you heal Perhaps a friend in spirit can give a, give guidance concerning a relationship issue at this time. Ask for the information you need and be open to receiving it in myriad, way, myriad unexpected ways. So your affirmation is, I open up to all the loving, helpful spirits around me. I invite their guidance and I am thankful. But this could be you that has the keys to your own Akashic records and everybody else's. So you could be, you could be a medium, a reader. Uh, or somebody spiritual. Mm -hmm. Very intuitive. So you know which way to go. Okay. 
You could be uh, having a heightened intuition as well with increase in intuition and manifestation. Your intuition is heightened or stronger. Mm -hmm. Give me a card, Spirit for Leo. Okay, so we got Guru, Ram Dass, humility, spiritual practice, and elevation. Yeah, and St. Bridget. Fire, passion, and growth. Archangel Sandalphon, music, earth star, and answer prayer, period. Yep. So let's read St. Bridget. So it says St. Bridget or Goddess Bridget is recognized as a Catholic saint and a Celtic pagan goddess who was adopted by the Christian faith in Ireland around 500 CE. Her feast day is the 1st of February, the same day of the pagan celebration of Imbolc in the Northern Hemisphere. In both traditions, she is aligned to the season of spring and the energies of new growth, passion, and fire. In her goddess form, she is connected to the sun, fire, fertility, healing, and poetry. St. Bridget is the Patreon saint of babies, blacksmiths, and metal workers, fugitives, midwives, printing presses, sailors, scholars, poets, and travelers. Hmm. Call on St. Bridget whenever you need to relight that inner fire and help you get going again. I be saying, hmm, like I, uh, I just didn't know St. Bridget did all that. <laughs> okay, the oracle. Follow your passion and the fire within. Plant seeds now for the things you want to see grow. So for your love and relationships, it says it may be a good time to bring more passion into your romantic relationships. Do something to light or relight the spark. For your work, it says follow your passions even if you are not getting paid for them yet. Write, create, and follow your dreams. Don't let your current situation stunt your growth or your goals. For your home, it says light candles and fill your home with fresh flowers to bring in those fresh spring vibes at any time of the year. For your money, look for opportunities to help make your money grow. For your well-being, read or write poetry. Make sure your spaces are bright and well-lit. Sunlight is an instant mood booster. And for your spirituality, focus on your spiritual growth. Um, remember that it takes time to develop your spiritual skills and abilities and you are always learning more. So seize by showing up for a spiritual practice that really excites you. So it says call on St. Bridget for assistance with rekindling the flames and relationships, finding or reconnecting with your passion for life, getting your passion projects out into the world, sowing seeds, handling the heat, nurturing growth in any area, spirit and spiritual and personal growth. And embody the energy of St. Bridget by sowing seeds of intention, pursuing your passions, writing poetry, and lighting up the world in the way only you can. Okay, period. Yeah, some of you guys are getting ready to elevate spiritually for sure. You could begin ready to work on a passion of yours. It could be a spiritual practice. But you're elevating spiritually with that Guru Ram Dass and the St. Bridget right there. Mm -hmm. And some of y'all are having a baby. You could be pregnant, so congrats. Yeah, so you have protection here around your baby. For sure. I've been getting that a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot because whoever I'm channeling has been a, a victim of this fuck shit spiritually and they're trying to get you on a 3D <laughs> like somebody here is crazy so this was your reading Leo I hope this reading 1133 is on the clock you guys can be seeing those numbers but I hope this reading gave you lots of clarity um like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on press the all button so you won't miss my reads and I'll talk to y'all later bye